Okay, I just want to make this quick little video about uh, basically uh, USB modems, broadband internet, you know, 3G, 4G, whatever. And, uh, you know, where I, where I was from or where I used to live at was a place where I didn't have access to DSL or cable internet or whatever. You know, all we had was dial-up. And um, me being a, a Linux user, or Ubuntu user, or whatever you want to call it, um, it was very tricky to get these little modems, these air cards here, working properly. And I had both of these. I had the, the Cricut and uh, the Virgin Mobile. Anyways, uh, they actually work very well once you get up and going. But the problem with these, I, you know, of course, they're capped. You're only allowed 5 gigs a month. So that's kind of a bummer. But anyways, to get them working, um, first thing you need to do is with these air cards, um, take it to an internet source. You know, I mean, not an internet source, I'm sorry. Take it to a, a computer with Windows or a Mac or whatever it is they're, they're meant for install it you know load the drivers get it up and going basically get it running on that machine so your accounts activated and up and going so do that first then um, on your Linux system Ubuntu or, or Fedora or whatever it is you're using uh, go into your package manager and uh, let's see SY there it is and look for this it's called a USB mod switch or mode switch There it is right here. Now, I think this is has been in the packet in the repository since uh, 9.10, but I don't know if it's installed by default though. That I'm not too sure about. But anyways, um, the catch with this is basically if you're going to be doing this, um, you know, have your machine near an internet source, Wi-Fi, or plugged in, you know, to grab these packages. So just mark it for installation. And of course it's already installed, but I just want to show you something. And apply it. Now it's going to download it, of course. And, uh, come on. What I would do, I would make a habit of, of saving these packages so I wouldn't have to go to my buddy's house or whatever that had internet access and, uh, you know, grab them again. So, as soon as this gets installed, okay, it's done. Go to your, uh, your uh, what's it called? Oh, lost for words here. I'll just find it. Go to your uh, file system. It's in your var, var, catch, apt, archives. That's right. That's the word I was looking for. And look for USB. USB. Here they are right here. Here's both of them. And uh, pull them out. That way, just in case this you ever have to reinstall your system again, you know, you have these packages already, you know, handy. So you don't have to go out and grab your, uh, you know, go out into your friend's house, wherever you got to go to, and, uh, you know, and and uh, download it. So what I what I would do is just uh, put these on a zip drive or something. You know what I mean? Just keep them safe. But anyways, I'm gonna tether my phone just so you can get the idea of how to set it up. So let me uh, disconnect from my Wi-Fi. So I'm using an AT&T uh, phone service here. Now, I don't really recommend tethering because they do charge for it, supposedly. Although I haven't got busted yet, knock on wood. But anyways, so you plug in your phone. It's the same thing as using an Air Data card. Same idea. So it's plugged in now. So go to your network manager. You're going to see this. New mobile broadband. Or it might say something else, like something similar to this. but you're pretty much going to see this right here, mobile broadband. Click on that, then just go through the acquired steps, forward, United States, wherever you're from, AT&T, that's what I'm using, and that. Click forward, and apply. And it should automatically dial. See? There it is. It's connected. Now I'm running uh, through my phone, tethering. And it's the same thing, you know, there's a little, I think there's a little G right here or something. Like 3G or whatever. So I'm assuming that 4G is probably the same process. But anyways, I just kind of want to make this video, put it out there, because back back when I was a newbie and whatever, I was struggling big time with this. So if anybody out there has any questions about mobile broadband and 3G, just let me know, because I was dealing with this for about three years. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching.